Introducing Stellara, a groundbreaking medication used in the treatment of various autoimmune conditions. This video will cover its indications, mechanism of action, contraindications, adverse reactions, warnings, precautions, and dosage. Stellara, also known as ustekinumab, is approved for treating moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, active psoriatic arthritis, moderate to severe Crohn's disease, and ulcerative colitis in adults. The medication works by targeting interleukin-12 and interleukin-23, proteins that play a key role in inflammatory and immune responses. Stellara is contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity to ustekinumab or any of its excipients, and in those with clinically significant infections. The most common adverse reactions reported with Stellara across different conditions include nasopharyngitis, upper respiratory tract infection, headache, fatigue, vomiting, injection site erythema, vulvovaginal candidiasis, mycotic infection, bronchitis, pruritus, urinary tract infection, sinusitis, abdominal pain, influenza, fever, diarrhea, and nausea. Stellara can increase the risk of various infections, including serious bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. Avoid using Stellara in patients with active infections and monitor for infections during treatment, discontinuing if serious infections occur. Patients genetically deficient in IL-12, IL-23 are more vulnerable to certain infections. It's unclear if Stellara users have similar risks, so consider appropriate diagnostic testing for suspected infections. Evaluate patients for tuberculosis before starting Stellara and treat latent tuberculosis if necessary. Monitor for active tuberculosis signs during and after treatment. Stellara may increase the risk of malignancies, including non-melanoma skin cancer. Monitor patients, especially those over 60, or with a history of prolonged immunosuppressant therapy or PUV treatment. Hypersensitivity reactions, including anaphylaxis, have been reported with Stellara. Discontinue use and provide appropriate therapy if significant hypersensitivity occurs. Posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome, PRIAS, has been reported in patients using Stellara, presenting with symptoms like headaches and seizures. If PRIAS is suspected, discontinue Stellara and administer appropriate treatment. Ensure patients receive all recommended vaccinations before starting Stellara and avoid live vaccines during treatment. Non-live vaccines may not elicit a sufficient immune response during Stellara therapy. Non-infectious pneumonia cases, such as interstitial and eosinophilic pneumonia, have been reported. Discontinue Stellara if diagnosed and provide appropriate treatment. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should consult their healthcare provider before starting Stellara, as its effects on unborn or nursing babies remain uncertain. The initial dose of Stellara for plaque psoriasis is administered subcutaneously, followed by a second dose four weeks later, then every 12 weeks thereafter. For psoriatic arthritis, the dosage follows a similar schedule, with adjustments based on patient weight and the severity of the condition. In Crohn's disease, an initial intravenous infusion is given, followed by subcutaneous injections every eight weeks. Proper administration and adherence to the prescribed dosage schedule are crucial for maximizing the effectiveness of Stellara while minimizing potential risks. Consult your healthcare provider for personalized advice and to discuss whether Stellara is the right treatment option for your condition. Thanks for watching. If you find this video as helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more such informative content. See you next time.